<sighs> What's up guys? We're still in Trieste uh, in the north of Italy and there is an old concentration camp up here. Nazi Germany concentration camp. A quick bus ride from the city center and to a stop called Palla Trieste, which you'll know if you're right by this building right here. And uh, you can take the line 20 or 21 to get here, so it's pretty easy. So we're gonna go check it out. Quite sure I just found it right there. So it's not too far from the bus stop. Let's go see. Oh, this is definitely it. I'm not sure how to get in. It's called Di Sierra di San Saba. I have to figure out if we can actually get in or not. Of course. Oh, he's not. <laughs> he, he was joking. Where, okay, can you say all that again? So there's an actor named what? Alberto uh -huh. Sordi. Sordi, okay. Sordi. And he, he used to say he was from Kansas. It is a famous film, a uh, famous mo movie. Uh, I don't remember the title. Un americano romano? No. Come si chiamava? There was a movie very famous in Italy. Mm -hmm. and, and the actor uh, was uh, the character was uh, from Rome. He lived, lived in Rome. Yeah. And he dreamed to be America. To be American. <laughs> really? Uh, and and uh, he, he wanted to to become an American yeah. person uh, and he said, I am from Kansas City. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's amazing, I did not know that. He can't speak in English. Right. He, he speak a, a, a strange English, you know, yeah. very, very comic, no? And he said, I am from Kansas City with, ah. with a model. Oh, really? And he said, I am from Kansas City. <laughs> it's very famous in Italy. I didn't know that. <laughs> Alberto Sardi. Okay. Alberto Sardi. Cowboy a bordo, il vento della prateria si mescola all'aria di Napoli. Dopo di essere stato americano a Roma, Sordi è andato a fare il romano a Kansas City. L'hanno nominato presidente dell'American Royal, dove le mucche entrano a quattro gambe ed escono in scatola. Con piede marino riprende terra et microfono. Io sono cittadino onorario del Kansas City e governatore onorario dell'American Royal. Mi sono permesso anche di fare un discorso a tutti i cittadini del Kansas City. Ok, la re! <laughs> Stanno chiamando. My dear friends, my English is a zero, but I want you to know how much I appreciate this first approval of the American. Okay. Hospitality and the generosity. If all the Americans are like you, I am proud to be a citizen of a Kansas City! Bravo, non hai parlato americano ai sordi. Okay, so yeah, you just go right in. Um, through the entrance and you can get an audio guide for two euro. Uh, make sure to bring a document, like a passport or something, that they can hold on to so you, they get this back. Um, oh, and the guy, <laughs> they know where Kansas City is, that's awesome. So I'm gonna start my tour and I'll record a little bit, but uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll get back to you guys. So I guess they stored like six prisoners at a time in here in these little, they're called micro cells and uh, I guess the only way you left it was to, when they killed you, so. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So this is the all of crosses. Basically it's called that because they removed the floors uh, to give it the look of different crosses. Now they held Jewish and political prisoners here that were going to be shipped off to Auschwitz and Birkenau and I've actually been to those concentration camps and it's uh, quite a life-changing perspective just to spend time in there but um, yeah you kind of get the same feeling here it's uh, yeah I don't really have words for it right now all right 
right, so this right here, uh, the smokestacks for the crematorium used to be here, and uh, because the, it's a, a war crime to do what they did, they, the Nazis destroyed it when they were fleeing from here. Uh, this whole courtyard used to look different. There is, you can even tell if you look right there, uh, that this used to be one long building, and uh, it would bring the people in there, and then they would come here where the steel outline is, and they would burn the bodies. But when they were fleeing, they destroyed it. Um, <clears throat> yeah, you can, yeah. I got nothing. So, this is called the Hall of Commemoration. Um, there's a few plaques on the outside. Um, just to commemorate the victims and uh, everyone persecuted by this ideology, uh, including Jews, homosexuals, everyone. Um, so not just this place, but um, this uh, this room right here. Uh, actually, what I find really interesting is not only this piece of art uh, made by, I believe, a Theresian artist, but they have an altar right here. This is uh, also considered a place of worship. It's unadorned. It's not decorated with any religious symbols because... They wanted anybody from any religion to be able to come here and pray and give their prayers to whatever god or religion they subscribe to. Subscribe to. So it's quite quite in good touch, I think, to this place. So I think I'll have myself a moment of silence before I leave. So I just finished my tour. Uh, there's a museum inside as well. Uh, the place isn't very big, it's free to go in, but it's two euros for the audio guide and I recommend you get it because you might not know what you're looking at unless you have the audio guide. It's um, definitely something you should see if you're in 3S day. Uh, I learned a lot and I won't dabble into all the facts, but you see it for yourself. But definitely worth a visit.